up, y'all? Man, it's your boy, man. We back. Hey, I got these ribs on, man. Oh, I got three slabs going today. As you see right here, uh, I'll show you real quick. I only got one and a couple back straps. Uh, let me get a close-up so y'all can see that. But I bet you're wondering what I'm doing with the rest of it. Well, for those of us who fried turkey, I'm going to show y'all something today. We call them fried rib riblets. So stay tuned, man. We're going to come back. We got a slab going for my father-in-law, some tender meat right there. Uh, I'm going to close this so I can start this cooking process. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm going to show y'all how we uh, use that turkey oil. Hold on, let me back up a little bit so I can get in the screen so y'all can see me talking. Yeah, but I'm going to show y'all how we do uh, uh, take that old turkey grease, the peanut oil, and use it to your benefit, man. You know... They tell you rule of thumb, don't use it after about 10 days. Uh, but it's, this is Saturday, and we cook the turkey on Thursday, so we still got about eight days to use this grease. I use it for coating my uh, my grills and stuff, so you can keep it year-round for that. But cooking, I would only keep it about 10 days after that. But, uh, yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to slice these rib, ribs up in the bones, individual bones. Uh, put some seasoning on there. Got some woo sauce and stuff like that. We'll talk about that. And we're going to coat them with flour. Throw them in the dog on uh, uh, peanut oil and then go from there, man. So y'all stay tuned. Let me show y'all what we got going on. Already, y'all. <clears throat> All right. When y'all hear that noise, y'all know. Grease is bubbling. Getting close is about 200. Wait until you get about 325. We're finna make magic happen. Got the TV going right here, Alabama and Auburn going on. Oh yeah, let me show y'all the old school way of seasoning something. We got some flour over here. Let me open this bag up for y'all. Old school way of uh, putting flour in the bag and shaking it up. Got my ribs, or uh, riblets or whatever you want to call them, sliced into individuals. Let me get a close up so y'all can see the little bitty ones. Uh, individuals, all we're gonna do is take them, put them in the flour, and it's the key ingredient right here. The leftover peanut oil. It's got the uh, the uh, Creole Creole butter from the turkey. Never pure goodness in there, y'all. Gotta try. Stay tuned, man. I'll show you when we in business. All right, y'all. It's that time to go ahead and uh, I tip my first batch of uh, riblets. Cut up in a single bone. Put them in there. Hey, when they done, they're gonna float to the top, man. It shouldn't take them about five to ten minutes to cook. They'll taste like pork chops when they done, man. Trust me, this is pure, this is finger food, what we call finger food. So we'll be back in a little bit, man. I'm gonna show y'all the finished product, man. Or the first batch. I got two batches going, because I only did two slabs of ribs, um, just as appetizers while we fry up some fish. I even give y'all a little snippet on that too, man. So y'all uh what I be doing all the time. Every Thanksgiving I'm doing this for the family. So uh we'll be back, y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up y'all? I got my first batch out, man. Let me actually give you a close-up of it. Of one of these. Ooh, look at that golden brown, y'all. We over here doing it. Yeah. I like my extra crunchy. Got a little one over here. I left it in there a little longer. That's gonna be for me. I just took them out. They hot. Look at that. Look like chicken, don't it? Fried ribs, y'all. Keep following me, y'all. You know I do crazy stuff, y'all. That tastes awesome. We'll be back, man. When it's time to fry this fish, you gonna see y'all on y'all way. And this is what you do to send that your family off on a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the night, after, you know, the night, couple days after you done finished getting the leftovers from Thanksgiving, and you're ready to. Uh, as I talk, let y'all see my little, little grease bubbling over here. I got the last batch in there. But, uh, oh yeah, let's go take on these ribs right quick. But no, you see your family on their way, man. People get tired of the macaroni and cheese and uh, pulled pork and stuff like that. Yeah. Woo Look at that. I can cook on anybody's grill. Uh, it's kind of dark. I'm gonna show y'all the real once I'm done with it, y'all. Uh, we'll be back. Cooking up goodness all the time. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all. 
What's up, ladies and gents? Back here at Barbecues and Barbecue X. Show you what we got going on. We got some uh, catfish nuggets. Uh, well, they ain't really nuggets. They're the whole catfish the skin. Got my grease over here for these french fries. We doing it up over here. Oh, let me uh, y'all close up these ribs. See that tip on the kitchen aid? I don't know if that's really true. I should have brought my other uh, uh, gauge. Ribs over here. We got some back strap. Or the extra uh, meat off the rib, you know, in your St. Louis. It's cooking, man. We're just gonna let them sit and do their thing from from fun law, man. You know. Anyway, we'll be back, man. I'm gonna show you what this fish looks like and send you on your way. This is what you do on the Saturday before you send your family off, y'all. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Real kind of charred That's fried pork chop. Kind of vegetable crap. I ain't eating that. Meat balls. Look at that fish, y'all. Yeah, look at dinner. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoy it.